Okay, in this video I just want to do a harder example um, using the chain rule because I know the chain rule is a pretty confusing rule. So in this one we're going to do tangent of sine of the, the square root of the quantity x squared plus 8x, all of that raised to the fifth power. Um, so again, notice there's no multiplication in here, it's all a composition. So um, we got to use the chain rule a bunch of times. So again, I think about it as the outside inside rule. So if I had something raised to the fifth power, the first thing I would get would be, well, the 5 would come out front. Then you leave everything on the inside alone. Tangent of sine of, and I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as x squared plus 8x to the 1 half power. That'll all now be raised to the fourth power. But then I have to multiply that by the derivative of all of the inside stuff. So I'm going to run out of room here. These problems get so long. So I'm going to have to multiply that by the derivative of the inside stuff, which again is tangent of sine of x squared plus 8x raised to the 1 half. Can I get it all in there? Parentheses, brackets. All right, I think we just about got it. Um, so a little, a little light there on the color. Where'd my blue one go? There it is. All right, so, all right, so now the next thing. Okay, now we have to take the derivative. Hey, of the inside stuff. To me, um, again, I kind of start on the outside. So to me, the tangent is the next most outside part. So I'm definitely going to run out of room here. But it says, um, so this would be, so we leave the front part alone, 5 tangent of sine of x squared plus 8x to the 1 half power, all raised to the 4th power. Okay, so that part we're done with. It just keeps getting carried along. And now if I multiply that by the derivative of the inside, again, I have to take the derivative of the tangent part. Well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So that's secant squared, and we leave the inside alone. So the sine of x squared plus 8x raised to the 1 half power. OK, and now I have to move on the inside of that. So the stuff we haven't touched yet was the sine x squared plus 8x raised to the 1 half power. Well, in this case, the thing that's next on uh, the, the next part in order that we didn't touch yet would now be the sine part. That would be the next part. So I'm going to start doing this now in one, one fell swoop. So I'm going to run out of room. So this is still multiplication here. Um, so keep on multiplying. If you take the derivative of the sine part, we get cosine of, we'll leave the inside part alone, x squared plus 8x. That's all being raised to the 1 half power. Okay, and now it says we have to move on the inside of that. Well, the inside of that will be the x squared plus 8x to the 1 half power. And now we're basically using the same rule that we did at the very beginning. We have to bring the power on the outside. We have to, take, we have to use that first. So it says we'll bring the 1 half out front. We leave the x squared plus 8x part alone to the negative 1 half. Again, I have to subtract 1 away. The last thing that I have to do is I have to move inside yet once again. Now the inside part would be the x squared plus 8x. So if I multiply by the derivative of that, I'll simply get 2x plus 8. All right, so all of this, again, should be strung together in one big old line getting multiplied. So, all right, one little, little that was, a, I think, a, a fairly, fairly complicated example. So you could multiply some things out. Really not a ton of simplification that I see that you could do. You know, you could put the negative exponent in the bottom. But, um, hey, there's a uh, harder chain rule example. I hope it makes sense.